Hello everyone, it's Oz, I'm Azzy here, and welcome to the updated version of the DVD, Blu-ray, and CD collection video. All in this box. Now, the thing is, uh, I know I did the first version, which is on 2019, I believe, the beginning of February, but since then, I've gotten more. I was supposed to do one on February, the day the first version came out, but I wanted to get one specific Blu-ray before I could do it. But now it came today, I, I won't show you what it is yet. But you'll see it later in the video, so let's go ahead and get started. The thing is, I'm not going to go like, uh, which one's my favorite DVD and everything. We're just going to go chronologically. So let's go ahead and get to the movies. And per usual, the start of every collection video, we're going to start with the Blu-rays. So let's go ahead and get started. So m most of these are the same, but there will be some new ones as well as, as it goes on. Okay, here we go. Starting off, Inside Out, released in 2015. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here are the disc. Alright. I'm only gonna like talk about the newer stuff because I already talked about them in my last one. Next is a Shrek 4 movie collection. All four Shrek movies in one. Here's the front, spine, and the back. Here's the movie. Here are the first four movies, Shrek 1, Shrek 2, Shrek 3, and Shrek 4. Next one is the, the director's cut of Little Shop of Horrors. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Cool thing about it is, it comes with a little booklet. Now, I had the DVD version of this movie, but since I already have the Blu-ray version, I decided to give it away to a friend of mine. Who actually wanted a little shop of horrors? Next is the Tim Curry It 1990 version. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here's the disc. Now, okay, so here are a few new ones. Here's one new one: The Dark Crystal. Yes, Jim Henson's, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. Most because I I bought it to celebrate the. The Netflix release of The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, I binge watched the whole Netflix series and I actually loved it. I loved it a lot. Here's the front, it's fine. In the back. Here's the disc. And if we if we remove this, we get a good glimpse picture of the crystal and the Skeksis. Alright, next one. Tom Hanks, the Polar Express. Here's the front, it's fine. In the back. One of my favorite Christmas movies. Here's the disc. Next is the, uh, whoops. Here is the Illumination Grinch. Here's the front, spine, other spine, and the back. I've heard, I heard a few people didn't like this movie, but I don't know why, I, I personally liked it. Here's the disc, and here's the DVD disc. Next on the list, the Johnny Depp, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Here's the front, this spine, and the back. Here's the disc. Weird looking disc. Now, the next one, here are a few new ones. So, here's, here's Wreck-It Ralph on Blu-ray. Here's the front, the spine, other spine, and the back. There's Sonic and Dr. Eggman right there, which is pretty awesome. When I first saw Sonic in this movie, I was pretty excited. Here's the disc for the Blu-ray and DVD. Now, now next one is Ralph Breaks the Internet. This is the, this is one recently released in 2018. I saw it in the movie theater and I actually loved it. I really did love it. Here's the front, spine, other spine, and the back. Apparently this movie had a buttload of easter eggs, like the Disney princesses and, and all that. 
here's the Blu-ray disc and the DVD. Again, I had to censor the uh, digital codes because I don't want anyone getting getting them. Next on the list, DreamWorks: The Road to El Dorado. I got this for my birthday because because I actually loved this movie when I was growing up. So here's the front, the spine, other spine, and the back. Here's the Blu-ray disc. Nothing else is really here. Okay, now, for this part, I mean, since they're both the same chapter, so I'm going to show both of them in one, in one take. Stephen King's It, chapters 1 and 2. So, let's do chapter 1 first. Here's the front, the spine, other spine, the back. Here's the disc for the Blu-ray and DVD. Now here is It Chapter 2. Yes, I, I saw this in the theater. I think it was actually my, my first horror movie I actually went to. There were scenes I was very uncomfortable with, but the rest of the movie, I actually li liked it. So here's the front, spine, other spine, and the back. Bill Skarsgård's in it. And we got the grown-up versions of, or the adult version of the Losers Club. Here's the disc for Blu-ray and DVD. Once again, all, uh, all digital codes have to be censored out. Remember, this didn't want to close. And now the last one. Which is what I just got today. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie Blu-ray. I've been waiting for four months for this and it's finally out. You can go ahead and pick this up. This is actually a special edition. I'll show you why in a second. So here's the front. Spine. Here's Sonic. The other spine. There's Jim Carrey. And the back. I actually love this. And the cool thing about this Blu-ray, it comes with a comic book, The Adventures of Sonic and Donut Lord. I'll, I'll go ahead and show only just a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll read it later. This is really, really cool. I'll set it right there for now. And here is the Blu-ray itself. Here's the spine. And the back. Here is the disc and an advertisement. Dora and the Lost City of Gold. I heard that movie was terrible! So, also I'm not really a fan of Dora. At all, no. And here's the uh, advertising for the games like Team Sonic Racing, Sonic Mania, and Sonic Forces. Why advertise Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces that literally came out in 2017? I don't get that. And here's the mobile games and and a couple of merchandise. There's the uh, the Sonic hoodie and the Sonic and the Baby Sonic T-shirt. And here's the Blu-ray and DVD, which is nice. Let me go ahead and put these away, and we'll get on with the next part. Okay. Time for the next part of the collection, DVDs. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, Volume 1 of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Here's the front, spine, and the back. Here are the disc. Apparently a lot of people didn't like the show that much, but I personally liked it. I don't really agree with some people's opinions that often, but I do respect them. Next one. Volume 2 of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Here's the front, the spine, bottom spine, top, and the back. Here are the cases. I, actually, I'll go ahead and take them all out and show you all. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Cool thing about this is it actually shows some sketch artwork, which is pretty cool. Here's Volume 2, front. Spine and the back. I, I just knocked down. I just knocked the tripod. Whoops. Here's here's Bowser. Okay, front, spine, and the back. Again, sketches. And there's Princess Peach. Front, spine, and the back. Once again, sketches with Luigi. 
go. Next, the Adventures of Super Mario Brothers 3. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here are the, the, the three cases. Uh, the, the third disc is just for bonus features. The other two discs are actual episodes of the show. Next one. The Super, the Super Mario World, the complete series. Here's the front, spine, other spine, and the back. Here are the two discs. And it even comes with a little advertisement for the games, which is, which is pretty cool. Next is what came with my Sonic Boom Fire and Ice game. Uh, DVD includes TV episodes featuring Sh Sonic and Shadow and Metal Sonic. Here's the front and the back. This is literally like a CD case. Here's the gang and hang on. Let me pull this out. Here is the disc. Next one is... The Gene Wilder Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Rest in peace Gene Wilder. You're amazing. Here's the front, spine, and the back. Here's the disc. Next one, the Jim Carrey Grinch with Jim Carrey himself. He also played Dr. Eggman in the Sonic movie. Here's the front, spine, other spine, and the back. Here's the disc. This, unfortunately, this is not the Blu-ray. Next one, VeggieTales The Bumby Book Superhero Value Pack. This literally has the first two Larry Boy episodes in one. And I, I bought this for, since I was making the fan film, Mr. L in the Cooper from Outer Space, and soon to be Mr. L in the Rumor Plant. I gotta get back to that project. I will one day. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here, here's the actual case, but the only difference is there's a good picture of the Larry Mobile, which is awesome. And if you open it up, this is literally a huge, huge box set, which is pretty dope. I actually love this. I hope I don't knock down in any of them. That would be a disaster. There we go. Next one, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here's the disc. I believe this was released in 2012. Next. Another Jim Carrey movie, the Jim Carrey Christmas Carol. Here's the front, this spine, and the back. Here is the disc. Next, one of my favorite Disney movies when I was growing up, James and the Giant Peach. Here's the front, spine, and the back. Here's the disc. This movie was actually made by the same writer who did uh, Charlie and the Chuck Factory, which is pretty cool. All right, last DVD. Shrek the Musical. I was gonna get the Blu-ray version, but it was too expensive. So here's the front, the spine, and the back. And here's the disc. I think it's pretty cool that they used a red disc, which is pretty awesome. All right, that's it for the DVDs. Okay, so the last set we're gonna be covering up is the soundtracks. Now, most of these are movie soundtracks because I love collecting them, and I do love movies. So, let's get started. First, this one came with my Super Mario All-Stars game for the Wii. The Super Mario Bros. History soundtrack. Here's the front, a spine, and the back. Which is why it's in the DVD case, because it comes with a little bit of a booklet, which is cool. I'll go ahead and show a little bit of it. Really, really cool. And here's the disc itself. The second CD is the 2003 Little Shop of Horrors with Hunter Foster, released in 2003. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here's the disc and the picture of Hunter Foster as Seymour Krellborn, and it comes with a little booklet. I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna show the pictures because the, the, the other are just mostly just information of the songs and everything, which is freaking amazing. I never actually saw the play in 2003. I wish I wish someone can like do the same thing how they did with some other musicals, like record it and actually release it like like a Broadway movie. I'm not sure if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but like that Shrek the Musical DVD. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. Next, 
is the Larry Boy soundtrack. Here's the front. It's fine. In the back. Here is the disc. And, and it once again comes with a little booklet. The Fippermeyer Space and the Bad Apple itself. It's really hard to like... Show this off. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty awesome. One minute. Next is the movie version of Little Shop of Horrors with Rick Moranis and Frank Oz. Here's the front. You can see me a little bit in the reflection. In the back, here's the spine. And here is the DVD. It comes with a book of two, but it was kind of lame. Like, I was expecting to, like, have some, like, artwork or something. Now here is the the first Shrek soundtrack, the first movie I mean. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Again, you can faintly see me in the reflection. Here's the disc. Let me get the booklet out. Looks pretty cool. Let me just, here we go. Next one, Shrek Forever After soundtrack. Now, I, I, got, I got this for my birthday along with the other soundtracks, which I'll show you in just a second. So here's the front, the spine, and the back. Unfortunately, this this soundtrack doesn't have like all the songs that was featured in it, It what, but it actually comes with the score composed by Henry Grayson Williams, which is pretty cool. Here's a disc, literally a, it's literally just a green disc, but it does come with a booklet. Let's have a look. It literally shows some screenshots in the movie, which I personally like. Ooh! That's actually kind of cool. Next one is the Shrek the Third soundtrack. I got this for my birthday as well. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here's the disc. I, that, that's a pretty cool disc design, I'm not gonna lie. And once again, it comes with a booklet. Now, here's something interesting about this one. If you, if you lift it up like this, let me just, hang on. It is actually a poster, but I'm not gonna hang it up because this is actually very collectible. And I love this so much. So, yeah. Next soundtrack. The Shrek 2 soundtrack. Again, got for my birthday. Here's the front. The spine and the back. Here's the disc. Once again, it's another green disc. And if we get this booklet out. Hang on. It comes with a booklet. Where is the first appearance of Antoni Antonio Banderas? And if we flip it like this, it is once again another poster. And again, I'm not going to hang it up because this is collectible. And now, the next one is the Road to El Dorado soundtrack. M mostly it's all the songs by Elton John. He actually did all the songs for this for this movie, which is actually pretty awesome. So here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here's Elton John himself. Oh, there's the disc and a booklet. Wasn't really that exciting. All it does is wait, what? Oh! Oh my god! I actually didn't notice this at all. Holy crap! What is this? This is a oh my god! This is this is like the map to El Dorado. Oh, huh, that's cool. That is really cool. I like it. I actually didn't, didn't know it was there until now. <laughs> My bad. And now, finally, the last soundtrack. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie soundtrack. This is a limited edition. There was like three stocks left for this, and I was able to get my hands on one. Composed by Tom Holkenborg. 
which is nice. Here's the, here's the front, the spine, and the back. Here's all the songs. And here's the disc. I actually love this disc because it's literally a ring, which is cool. And it comes with a little booklet. Some screenshots from the from the movie from the movie. I actually like this a lot. I really do. There's Jim Carrey himself, and there's Sonic the Hedgehog, Donut Lord, and Pretzel Lady. And we even got uh, Dr. Robotnik at the end of the movie, and Sonic with his Patel Ball. Which is freaking awesome. That's, and here we go, guys. That's the end of my updated version of my Blu-rays, DVDs, and CD collection. My personal favorite one is the obvious Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I'm going to get this a watch later today, and I'm also going to read the book. And, yeah, that'll be it for today's video. So, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Click on that, that notification button so you don't have to miss any videos in the near future. And I'll see you all in the next video. I'll love to the bees, y'all. Woo!